beautiful weather tomorrow night. A lot uh, going on. Yeah, all those games get in. NC State's homecoming this weekend, too, and uh, they'll get all the games in just fine. We'll talk about that in just a bit. It's Friday morning. We do weather school, so let's get our weather school question of the day. Hi, my name is Jacqueline. I am a Green Magnet student. Today we're learning about weather fronts. So the question is, how do weather fronts work? All right, Jacqueline. Well, let's talk a little bit about weather fronts. Fronts are named for the type of air that's moving in. So in this example, and this isn't today, but in this example, there's warm air over North Carolina, and you can see this cold front right here, and here's the cool air. As the front, this part works across, it's the leading edge of that cooler air working in. And there are all kinds of different fronts that we see in the weather center. You have a cold front, and a cold front is named when colder air is pushing into a region. We also see a warm front. That's the red line with kind of the half circles on it. That's warm warmer air pushing into the region. Stationary front, that's exactly what it is. It's where you have cold air on one side, warm air on the other side. They're pushing against each other and it just doesn't want to move anywhere. We see these a lot in the winter time. And then finally an occluded front where the cold air catches up to the warm air. That's a purple line. They don't happen very often, but when they do, that can mean some very stormy weather behind that front. That's what a front is, and when it works through, it causes all kinds of crazy weather. If you have a weather question you'd like to be answered, we'd love to hear from you. Just uh, email it to us, abc 11 weatherschool at abc11mail.com, or on Facebook, just post the video on my Facebook page, ABC11 Big Weather.